So that was a doozy of a workout, and you are in for a real treat for episode 12 of the Lockdown Log. Here's that workout. Good morning, everyone. Todd Father here. It's workout Wednesday. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in paradise, and it's a nice day in Iowa as well. 63 degrees this morning, relatively low humidity. Mr. Max has got the guns out this morning. You know it's gonna be serious. Do a little two mile warm up and we got a couple of faster things planned Parker has a one mile time trial part of the summer plan today and we're gonna head over maybe do some hills and fight the blackbirds how's the legs feeling this morning Parker I don't know I feel a little tired it's hard to tell though just because it's the morning so the two mile warm up is complete. Now some strides and then we will get into the one mile. We're wearing the flats today because I don't know if I will have very many miles left in these. They're getting a little small and worn out. So we're going with the sub twos today. Hopefully I can go sub two today in the mile. Yes. That would be awesome. I would be really proud of you. Yes, we are in Iowa on the edge of farm country. I have no idea why that field sprayer is driving through town. So Parker's gonna start his time trial. Coaches have asked the team to do a one mile time trial to gauge fitness. And we've chosen this route mainly because they were instructed not to do the time trial on the track. And we wanted to choose a route that we wouldn't have to worry about social distancing on the trail and also trying to minimize the amount of traffic that we may encounter. So 513, eh, it's okay, but you know, still a long time before the season starts and I haven't done any speed work at all. It's only been three weeks since I've actually started running again. So not too bad considering it was all by myself. And now it's time to go do some hills. So we're at the start of, as you can see on the sign, Harvest Road, formerly known as Scott Boulevard, but the road that everyone here in Iowa City refers to as Seven Sisters. We have no idea why it's called Seven Sisters. It's just what it's always been known as by the locals. 
and Seven Sisters. Uh, interesting name because about 10 miles north of here, there's an actual road called Seven Sisters. And this is a road that's popular for doing hills. It's about a 1.1 mile out and back. GoPro is going to really distort this, but this has actually got several really steep hills on this route. So it's a popular place for hill workouts. So today's inquiry of the episode is going to be, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I think I would go with peanut butter, just because I really like peanut butter. If you want bonus points, try to figure out what is the most nutritious food that could sustain you for the rest of your life. But I am interested to see what you guys think. Well, you can see Parker off in the distance there. So I'm at the top of the last steep hill before it kind of flattens out a little bit. This next stretch is actually very common for red-winged blackbirds to dive bomb you. So if you don't live in an area where you have to deal with red-winged blackbirds protecting their nest, consider yourself lucky. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with the way those hills went. Uh, most of the time, my quads were so tired that I felt like I was going not even nine minute pace, but I was consistently around 7.30. So at least that's good. I wasn't trying to push it at all, just trying to get into work. And now it's time to cool down. So while Parker Jones cool this down video. home, I rode north on Scott Boulevard. So you get a shot of the front side of the sitting man. And he's got his quarantine mask on. He's been socially distant for several years. Should be relatively healthy. Plus he meditates a lot, so he should be in good mind and spirit. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Live life to the max. Bye.